Hi, welcome to another episode of MPT Outdoors. I'm your host, Glenn, and today we're covering the controversial issue of water bottles. Yes, the controversy between Nagaline, Nalgene, Nalgene water bottles and smart water bottles. This isn't even actually a smart water bottle from Smart Water. This is just an Arizona vapor water. Anyway, the controversy between these two bottles when going out camping and hiking. All right, so first off, Nalgene. This will cost you eight to $12 online, or to sometimes even more if you go to a, a retail outlet. And it comes preloaded with nothing. Smart water bottle, about two bucks. Heck, this one, yeah, I got this at a dollar store for a dollar. And it came preloaded with water, always a bonus. Just checking my list down here. Um, so the one other thing that uh, I gotta bring up is uh, water filters. Now, this, the uh, the water filter that you can get that fits the Nalgene, that's usually like the MSR water filter. It's a very expensive device, costing around eighty or ninety dollars, and um, it's got a lot of moving parts. I've had one and I've broken them, and they get clogged up very easily, and it's heavy, but it fits the Nalgene. The smart water bottle, or it's something similar to it, works with the Sawyer water filter system. Now I've got the gravity fed version. It fits every single kind of water bottle like this. And the uh, water filter one that comes with like a one gallon bag and the water filter and the tubes and everything cost me I think 35 bucks. And it's much lighter. And there's really no moving parts at all. Oh, with a bonus. All right, so then the other thing is here, okay, I'm gonna do this, and if I make a mess out of myself here, I apologize for being so foolish looking. But the thing is with the Nalgene water bottles, and I've had this problem every time. Damn, I have a drinking problem apparently. Um, they're messy to drink out of. Now, you can get the adapters for these. They cost $8 for the adapter, so you can drink out of the Nalgene without spilling it all over yourself. I want to ask somebody here if you like the Nalgene. Do you drink out of the Nalgene while walking? I bet you don't. No, you don't. This? I can drink out of this walking. <sighs> Never spill. Very, very convenient. Now, I do grant you, this cap is not attached to the bottle. Something the Nalgene does have, which is kind of nice, but still, it's pretty messy. All right, um, one other thing Nalgene, BPA free. Smart water bottles, I don't think they are. However, if you're concerned with weight, an empty Nalgene bottle and an empty smart water bottle, the difference in the weight, especially if you ultra uh, light hikers and that kind, that kind of person, you know how much weight importance is to you? I mean, how you just carry the, those grams, thinking about them, am I carrying too many grams? Nalgene empty, much heavier. Smart water bottle, much lighter. Thinner plastic, That's all there is to it, thinner plastic. Nalgene, I've dropped these things and I have not been able to break one of them yet. I've dropped these things and I haven't been able to drop, break, break one of them yet. Eventually they do break, and now this sturdy is the Nalgene, <laughs> but still haven't broken one yet. All right, so for me, smart water bottle, Nalgene, smart water bottle wins every time. I'd like to know what your opinions are about the whole smart water bottle, Nalgene water bottle controversy. I don't, don't want to even get into the whole aqua pack thing with the tube and everything like that. Just stick to the bottles. I'd like to know what your opinions are, what your thoughts are, what your suggestions are. Put them down in the comments section down there. And um, if, uh, if you could, please click on that subscribe button. All right. And uh, if you've got uh, some opinion that matches my own and you think this was a really great video, give me a thumbs up like. All right. And in the meantime, I'll see you guys out on the trail sometime. All right. Take care now.